And so Marx tried to understand, will a young man full of enthusiasm, why the great revolution he had the Communist Manifesto for 1848 had gone so wrong? And why the jumped up tyrant using money and family name, oh, and a referendum, had suddenly taken power in France and was beginning to beat down the rest of Europe. And he thought, I'll just write an essay on who's about the history. But the trouble was, you see, and this is the bit that keeps on ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing in my head. Marx got it wrong. It was he, not Louis Napoleon, who was the wrong side in history. And why? Because Louis Napoleon was the revolutionary. In a nasty, horrid, squalid way. Let no one ever tell you that Marx was wrong. But it was a revolution exactly what he said it was. It was just it was a right wing revolution. You see, he was a man of reason. He knew that kingdoms and empires and all that jazz couldn't survive industrialization, couldn't survive globalization. Not at all. And so, being a man of reason, he thought, well, people will go where the power is. They'll create a global super state to regulate the kind of world they're going to live in. They're going to abandon all those kingdoms. But it didn't quite work out that way. Bismarck, Louis Napoleon, the squalid, complacent Victorian, late Victorian nationalists, uh, Cecil Rhodes and all of that, invented the imperial nation-state, a botched union that watered down capitalism just enough that it could survive, that gave the rich their freedom, their liberty, and the rest, oh, we got racism and a bit of xenophobia, go us! But it was enough to keep it going for a while. But you see, the point was, it didn't end well. The Berlin bunker and atomic bomb, and the unrepressed power of nation states found it. Replaced by some kind of idea, there must be law, there must be order, there must be unions, there must be some international court, there must be another way of doing it. That kind of unwound and unwound and unwound until now. The first time is tragedy, the second time is farce. But what really gets me down was that Marx missed the revolution. And he grew so sure that underneath all the hooting, all the laughter, all the kind of fear, there is not something really quite nasty hatching out. But he won't say that's a good kiss.